thyroid test understanding procedures and interpreting results well the thyroid is a small butterfly shaped gland located in the neck region which is responsible for regulating metabolism and producing hormones to assess thyroid function medical professionals often perform a thyroid test which is an essential diagnostic tool in identifying thyroid disorders in this lesson we shall discuss simple procedures of thyroid test the different types of thyroid test and how to interpret the results of these thyroid test well the thyroid produces two main hormones thyroxin usually denoted as t4 and triiodothyronine usually denoted as t3 These hormones are involved in the regulation of metabolism, energy production, body temperature and other critical bodily functions. When the thyroid gland malfunctions, it can lead to two main conditions: hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism. Hypothyroidism occurs when the thyroid gland is underactive and does not produce enough thyroid hormones. It can cause symptoms such as fatigue, weight gain cold sensitivity and depression while the hyperthyroidism on the other hand is a condition that result from an overactive thyroid gland leading to excessive production of thyroid hormone common symptoms include weight loss increased heart rate anxiety and tremors there is usually no special preparation required for a thyroid test However some doctors may advise fasting for a few hours before the test especially if they are checking lipid profiles alongside thyroid function a healthcare professional will clean the area where the blood will be drawn usually the arm with an antiseptic and then use a needle to collect a small sample of blood from a vein The blood sample is sent to laboratory for analysis depending on the specific test ordered the results may be available within a few hours or few days Now types of thyroid test There are several thyroid test available each serving a specific purpose but the most common ones include number 1 TSH test thyroid stimulating hormone test This test measures the level of TSH a hormone produced by the pituitary gland in the blood TSH stimulate the thyroid gland to produce T4 and T3 so elevated or increased TSH level typically indicate an underactive thyroid mean hypothyroidism whereas low TSH levels suggest an overactive thyroid i mean hyperthyroidism So normal TSH level generally fall between 0.4 and 4 milli international units per liter. Be careful of the units because different labs use different units based on their equipment and standard operating procedures. Number 2, total thyroxin test or simply called as T4 test. The total T4 test measures both the bound and unbound forms of thyroxin in the blood. Low total T4 levels are indicative of hypothyroidism while high levels may point to hyperthyroidism. The normal range for total T4 is approximately 4.5 to 12.5 micrograms per deciliter and 66 to 181 in nanomoles per liter. So as a unit used by the lab you can interpret that result. Number 3 free thyroxin test or simply called as ft4 unlike the total t4 test the ft4 test measures only the unbound form of thyroxin this test is considered more accurate in assessing thyroid function because it reflect the hormone that is available and active in the body the normal ft4 range is typically between 0.8 and 2.8 nanograms per deciliter so abnormal ft4 levels can be indicative of thyroid dysfunction number 4 total triiodothyronine test or simply t3 test similar to the total t4 test this test measures the overall t3 levels including both bound and unbound forms Elevated total T3 level may be seen in hyperthyroidism. 
so the normal total t3 levels are around 80 to 200 nanograms per deciliter number five free triiodothyronine test or ft3 the ft3 test specifically measures the unbound t3 levels in the blood it is considered more reliable in assessing thyroid function than the total T3 test. The normal FT3 range is approximately 2.0 to 4.4 picograms per milliliter. Deviations from this range may indicate thyroid issues. So, it's important to remember that diagnosing thyroid disorder is not solely based on one test result. Often doctors consider a combination of thyroid test and take into account a patient's symptoms, medical history and physical examination to arrive at a comprehensive diagnosis. Thanks.